So I have a simple cube here, literally six faces, standard cube. And you can see up here that it has active points is eight. And the reason for that is that there are literally eight vertices on this cube, not faces. So this is not your polygon count, even though it generally is very close to your polygon count. When you hover over any subtool, you'll see in the description here that it'll tell you how many polygons it is. So here you can see this is six polygons, but eight points. So if that's not what you're looking for, if you actually want real polygon count to be displayed up here, just go to your preferences, go to config, turn on enable customize, and then scroll down until you get to miscellaneous. And then from there, you'll see the active polygons is available to you. If you're holding down control and alt, you can drag that button on screen and leave it there. If you want to get rid of the other one, you can hold down control and alt and just drag it off screen. Control and alt will allow you to move any of these anywhere you like. Uh, and that will now show you your, your active polygons. You'll notice that there is a total polygons count button here as well, which does nothing. If you hold a control and alt and you bring it onto your screen, it appears to be broken. Um, it doesn't actually show you the total polygon count, whereas total points will. So I would take this one off by holding control alt and dragging it off, but at least we have polygons on our screen right now. Once done, if you want to keep this, just go back to your config, turn off enable customize and hit store config in order to keep this for the next time you start up ZBrush. So why do they have active points there? I'll just turn this back on again for a second. Active points, this is the original. Let's just move it back to where it was. This is polygons, this is the new one. So you'll see if you have a, a triangular mesh, for example here I have a triangular mesh, and this one here is made up of triangles, um, and you'll see that it actually has 19,000 points on it, but it has 38,000 polygons. So this is almost double. So it's, it, it's a huge difference um, at times. Generally though, I mean, if you have a cube and you have eight points, this is our cube. If I was to divide this cube by hitting control D, basically just adding subdivisions here. Every time I do that, it's going to increase it by four. So we see we've gone from six polygons to 24, to 96, to 384. And you'll see there's only ever two, two polygons in the difference or two, the number two in the difference. Um, not a huge difference because we're using all four-sided polygons here. So when this becomes an issue really is when you start using um, triangles. So that can happen when you're using Dynamesh, for example. If I was to Dynamesh this now, you'll see that this number now starts getting uh, a little bit more different. And that's because we've introduced a series of triangles into this. So the amount of points differs from the amount of polygons. If the whole thing is triangles, then you're going to see a huge difference. So hope this tip helps and as usual don't forget to subscribe, like, comment if you have any other suggestions or if you have any video tutorials you'd like to see please do let me know. Alright, cheers, bye.